been a long nine days. When she left, I thought I'd be completely fine <laughs> about having her away, but I've been a bit of a cock case, so. I'd be crying. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'd be crying. I'm already getting Terry just thinking about it. It's a mixed feeling, amazing feeling at the moment, and uh, we're very anxious to see him. He's never been away, in for a night, never been for a sleepover or anything, so it's a totally new experience. <laughs> I didn't think I will break down. At the moment, I'm excited that he's coming back. I liked it, but also I sort of missed him. Well, it's very special because he's turning 12 tomorrow as well. I can't just wait for him to come over and tell us all the stories, and I'm pretty sure he must have had a lot of fun. The support that we got from all the other parents and school, it was phenomenal, so yeah, we made it. <laughs> We look forward to seeing them come home and, and the excitement on their face. So no, it's wonderful to be here tonight and see them. I'm feeling really happy to be back home with my family but also a bit sad because the amazing experience is over, it was so much fun. This has been a great experience, I've got to go to a lot of places and see a lot of things I usually wouldn't be able to see but yeah it's been a great experience but I'm still happy to be here. I'm absolutely amazing, I've made friends that I never think I'd make friends with. It's been really nice knowing that um, I've helped people as well as them helping me. Um, through homesickness, bus sickness, and just really tears all together. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful, it's so good to be back. I loved it. Apart from the cold, because Charleville was freezing, it was absolutely wonderful. Awesome experience, awesome to go out that way. The kids were amazing. Really happy that we've given your children back to you, safe and sound and in the same condition that you gave them to us, and so we're really happy about that. As a person, I think he'll be a bit more organised, a bit more responsible, he'd be able to manage his time a bit better. <laughs> and he'd have a bit more appreciation for the luxuries that he has. She's gone away dependent and probably come back independent. He must have gained a lot of uh, confidence in himself. A feeling that she can conquer anything, conquer her fears. We don't want them to grow, but then again, like we want them to grow as well because they need to have that kind of experience to face all those challenges that are coming in future. I'm really proud because every single year that our students go up there, we always get feedback from, from members of the public. I had two beautiful emails today from people that met our students and just said how wonderful they are and, and how much they, they would never expect young people to behave so well and, and be so polite. We got a lot of lovely comments from the public. We've made people feel proud of their country and it's been just amazing. Yeah. They've represented the college and themselves unbelievably well. We've been so proud of them every day with how well they've, uh, they've conducted themselves through everything we've asked them to do. We're really grateful to the college that they provide this opportunity to all those kids. What very fortunate children they are, they all are, to have such amazing experiences, it's, it's mind-blowing. They're having the time of their life. 